What do you think are some of the, the biggest challenges that we've faced as a company right now? Trial and error, I think, is the biggest challenges because you think something's going to work. You really push hard for it, and then it doesn't work. And then there's something that we weren't sure would work, so we didn't really pursue it, only to come back and revisit it later. Can you give us an example? Telemarketing. We're back using telemarketing team. I got, I'm going to tell you all about telemarketing, but go, go on. Yeah, we started with telemarketing. We had it going, and then the costs were just a little bit ridiculous. Didn't justify where compared to our other sources of revenue coming in, cost to commission, r ratio, all that stuff. And then we've come back to do it again. Yep. Um, thinking the answer was to hire 150 brokers to give a better experience. Well, that doesn't work either all the time because now you're dealing with people twiddling their thumbs so it's not cost efficient. Biggest challenges is learning to shave on our own face. The expression of learning to shave on somebody else's face where you're learning and making mistakes at somebody else's own expense. We kind of learned at our own expense of our own mistakes. When I first started in management, specifically my first few years, I said all the time, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna try, if this works, great. If it doesn't, well, I'm gonna learn from it. So that would be our biggest challenge is the- uh, The trial and error? Trial and error and just See what works, see what sticks, see what doesn't. What else have we done though? Cause I want to add some, you know, I want to get some juicy stuff for the audience of the people, for all 15 people listening to this on Spotify, but for all, you know, the thousands of people that are going to get to listen to the clip. Well, to get, to get <laughs> best example, we overhired, we overhired. No. Okay. But what, okay. So telemarketing, that's one thing, but there's trial and errors. So it's, I, I want to get, look, we've had a lot of ups, but w there's, there's been a lot of downs and there's, there's been times where you and I have come in. Last year, was this last year or two years now already? What are you referring like to? Like two years ago when we were coming in, man, dude, I was so fucking stressed every yeah, day. 2021 was a and you were stressed too. awful year. Dude, I was freaking out. Yeah. I was fucking stressed. Same. That summer was probably the worst summer of my life. Yeah. It was brutal. We okay, were, let's, let's, fuck it. let's well, get that's, into that's, this. That's exactly and I wanna, it. I know, and the reason why I want to get into this is because it's like everyone goes, oh my God, it's so glamorous. Look at all these things. This is amazing. KBD. Oh, whoa, whoa. And there's a lot of other companies that are doing well too. But there's behind this. Do you ever feel like this? Some days there's, um, I tell myself, wow, I can't believe I get paid to do this. It's so easy. I didn't really have to do anything today. I can't believe there's, but other days, holy shit. The stress, re, I've had this recently. The stress for me recently, I've, I, I, it's on par with what I had um, Heavy two the years crown ago. Yeah, is what I always say. Yeah, um, but let's let's talk about that two years ago. So let let's give the let's preface this. I'll let you talk about the the scenario that we had because I want people to understand. Hey yo, we go through difficult times too. Yeah, I'll let you take it. Go the, for my, it. My my best example would be right before the pandemic. You gave me clear cut. Here's your mandate. Here's what you need to do. Hire, 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 hire. I was running 15 to 20 interviews a week for like four months. Yep. I think I had sent out probably close to 70 job offers to which probably close to 45, 50 said yes out of that. How many actually- And you were full time. You were that's a what, headhunter. I was a full blown recruiter yeah. on a small scale, not a- For about a year? Yeah. About yeah. a year, year and a bit. Yeah. Then I worked. So out of all those people I sent job offers to, came down to probably 50 saying yes. Of the 50 saying yes, after learning what the process is to become an insurance professional with the AMF, the schooling, the getting the exams, the passing the exams, that dropped down to probably, I don't know, 25. From there, dropped down to, sorry. But to put it into perspective, without, let's, let's skip the details, but to put it into perspective, I think we're roughly, it's fair to say we're probably 20 employees and we went from 20 to 45. In like a six month span. Yeah. Or did we, I think we got up to 50. We were close to 50. We were 48 at one point. Jeez. So we were 48 employees, but I'll let you. So for the audience, we'll, we'll just to make it a little bit more simple, pre COVID. And the reason why I said this to Adam, hey, hire, 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 and hire, hire. Let's, let's go with this was because. Uh, we were getting a lot of inbound calls for sales. We were, the, the market was hot. The economy was hot. People had money. Money was cheap. People were buying cars. People were buying new houses. This was, you know, people are just 
transacting. There's we a lot felt of transactions like we were leaving through. money on the table by yes. not having enough people to answer our inbound calls. Yes. And that was after what, three years back to back to back of 30% plus <laughs> yeah. organic yeah. growth. Yeah. So yeah, we were saying, wait a second, like that's what we need to do. Yes. And the reason why we did this, why we wanted to hire so many people was we looked back, hindsight's always 2020. We told ourselves, and this is a fact, had we hired example, an extra 10 people two years ago, we would be at X growth as opposed to where we're at today. So this is the precursor to the shit show that ensued. So we hired all of these people and Adam, you did an excellent job hiring them. You worked your ass off. I really, really busted yeah. ass. I was doing, I'll let you continue. I was doing interviews at 8 p.m. at 8 yeah. a.m. I was following up. I was doing interviews up from my house at 9.15 because the person didn't finish work till eight by the time they got yeah. home had dinner. It was negotiating contracts, uh, all that fun stuff, all that for the pandemic to hit. And that first year of the pandemic, we thought we were more or less COVID proof, if you will. We still had what, 26, 27% growth the, in 2020? Over 30. Over 30 still? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then March, 2021 hits and our calls. Yeah because of the microchip shortage. People weren't buying cars. There weren't cars available. Cost of used cars was up 30%. Home sales were up through the roof. Nobody was trying to move because rent was going crazy as well. Next thing you know, now all these brokers that we've hired that we're paying, sitting there twiddling their thumbs. And that's where from an efficiency standpoint, from a cost standpoint, it wasn't making sense. After all that work, all that effort to try and grow the team to where we thought we needed the team to be to continue our rampant growth that we had crash and burn we had to let people go we had to but we did crack it. the whip we had people working from home remotely now it's a whole other challenge in itself but let's let's stay on this let's stay on this the 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 stress okay i'll i'll, I'll say for me at least the stress for me came from the fact that we were we had too many people and so there's a ratio, everything's based off math. So there's always this ratio and in insurance, it's called a salary to commission ratio. So commission revenue, obviously insurance brokers and every industry has their own specific ratio that they need to use. But it basically is a metric to help keep track of the overhead um, with regards to employee remuneration. So for insurance, for example, if we're making a million dollars in commission revenue per year, I'm not saying that's our number, but let's just take a nice easy round number. If we're making a million dollars per year in commission revenue for to be running efficiently, you should technically be paying in salaries between 500 dollars and $550,000 per year. This includes group benefits. This includes the payroll tax. This includes CNESST, or I forget what it's called in Ontario, but this includes everything. So you want that ratio to be between 50 and 55%. If you're growing really fast, you can even go up to 60, 65%. But what was our ratio? I remember one month looking at it, we were at like 80. Yeah. And I looked at Adam and I brought Sean in and I'm like, yo, dude, like, okay, this, we have to let some people go. Yeah. 